look like you're lost in thought. Ah, uh, you could say that, Princess Tamara. Well, what's on your mind? I was thinking about why I left my village. Ah, yeah. You didn't want to become the next village matriarch. Yes, that's right. It was decided I had to take my mother's place. But I had always dreamed of being a knight. The whole thing was... unreasonable. So I left. You were a free spirit, even back then. I wouldn't call myself a free spirit. Not really. But after traveling on my own for a while, roaming with nowhere to go, I met a fearless woman riding on a wolf. Now she was a free spirit. Who, <laughs> oh, me? Free spirit may not even cover it. You took on an entire gang of bandits by yourself. And out of nowhere, you charged in to help. I'll never forget that day. Neither will I. I didn't realize it then, but... That chance encounter would change my life. You know, sitting with you by a toasty fire? It feels just like the good old days. Yes, we shared many a night like this after that first encounter. Our scuffle with the bandits, back when we were just a couple of travelers roving the queendom together. At the time, of course, I had no idea my princess was actually a princess. You never asked. Honestly, I assumed you'd piece it together. Listen, Princess Tamara. Most royals don't sneak out of their castles to rain justice on unsuspecting bandits. Yeah, well, I'm not most royals. <laughs> no argument there. But really, do you remember how shocked I was to learn that you were the Princess of Solm? I had just gotten through telling you, basically, my whole life story. How I had always dreamed of becoming a knight, but my lineage made it impossible. I told you that was the reason I ran away from home. And then, you? I asked if you really, truly wanted to be a knight. And I said yes. With my whole heart, yes. You placed your sword on my shoulders, one after the other, and said, I hereby deem thee a knight of the queendom. And I laughed. I thought it was all in fun. But you weren't laughing, my princess. You were looking at me like you meant it. I'll never forget the look on your face when you knighted me. So serious. Well, yeah. I was dead set on it. After all our time on the road together, I could see what a good person you were. I'd have been crazy not to pin you down as soon as I could. <laughs> My princess, you flatter me. Though, I do wish you had revealed your identity beforehand. This again? It just slipped my mind, that's all. I told you right after, didn't I? We even went to your village together. Yes, that's true. The way you bowed your head before my mother, the village matriarch, and then boldly asked if she'd give the knighting her blessing. I've never seen her so shocked. But she agreed on the condition that I return to lead one day. Your mother's a good woman. She could tell our hearts were set on it. <laughs> From then on, I was yours. That was the day the clouds opened and my life filled with sunlight. And you called me a flatterer. So help me, your radiant luster will never dim. That, my princess, is why I devote myself wholly to your service. Thank you, Marin. I hope you'll stay at my side, now and forever. My knight in shining armor, my friend. <laughs>